Hi! Welcome to Holy Time TV. Before we start, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. In the picturesque hills of Wonju, South Korea, the renowned Japanese architect Tadao Ando, 81, unveiled his latest exhibition titled, Tadao Ando, Youth, last month at Museum San. A testament to his enduring spirit, Ando openly shared his experience of not graduating from college and undergoing the removal of five organs due to cancer, yet continuing to live with hope and optimism. This seventh international touring exhibition showcases an array of Ando's works, including 250 original drawings, sketches, videos, and models. For the first time, the exhibit takes place in a space designed by Ando himself, Museum San, which was commissioned by the late In Hee Lee, a former advisor to the Hansel Group, and opened in 2013. Ando, born in 1941, began his architectural journey as an autodidact and started his design work in 1969. In 1995, he received the prestigious Pritzker Prize, often referred to as the Nobel Prize of Architecture. He is known for his iconic works, such as the Church of Light in Ibaraki, Japan, and the ongoing Naoshima Project, which has spanned over 30 years. In South Korea, Ando's works include the Jiju Bont Museum, Glass House, Yemen Museum, Church of the Heart in Jonggi Province, and the LG Art Center in Seoul. During a press conference and lecture held last month, Ando discussed the concept of youth, stating that it is not limited to one's teenage or young adult years but instead extends throughout one's entire life. He shared the story of his entry into the world of architecture, which began when he took up a small bar interior design job after high school graduation. His architectural education came from books and travel, including studying the work of Le Corbusier by copying his designs. Ando's signature style features exposed concrete, a material that is easily accessible yet challenging to work with. He has become known as the master of exposed concrete. Another important element in his architectural work is light, which he believes represents hope. He aims to create spaces filled with hope, as seen in his Naoshima project. For successful architecture, Ando emphasizes the importance of a good client, sharing his experience working with the late In Hee Lee, who asked him to create a unique building that would draw visitors to the remote location. Today, the museum attracts more than 200,000 visitors annually, fulfilling Lee's dream. In his closing remarks, Ando emphasized the need for intellectual and physical strength to maintain one's youth. He walks 10,000 steps every day and studies for one to two hours. He encouraged his audience to always seek new experiences and perspectives. Beloved friends, today I want to share with you an inspiring message of hope that reminds us that our youth is not limited to a certain age or stage in life. It is with us as long as we live, as long as we breathe, and as long as we have faith. I am reminded of a powerful verse from the Bible, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31, which says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Imagine yourself as an eagle, soaring high above the landscape, effortlessly gliding through the air. Eagles are known for their strength, grace, and keen vision, able to spot their prey from miles away. When we put our hope in the Lord, we are like these majestic birds, rising above the challenges and obstacles we face in life. In our daily lives, we may face moments of exhaustion or doubt, where we feel like giving up or are tempted to lose faith. Yet, this verse reminds us that when we rely on God's strength, we can overcome these moments of fatigue and continue to run with endurance, pursuing our goals and dreams. Furthermore, walking without growing faint represents the idea that even in the mundane, everyday moments of life, we can find the strength to persevere when we have our hope rooted in God. It suggests that we can experience a spiritual renewal that empowers us to keep moving forward despite the trials we face. To sum it up, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 is a beautiful and vivid illustration of how placing our hope in the Lord can give us the strength, endurance, and grace to rise above life's challenges, soar like eagles, 
and experience the fullness of life in His presence. So, whenever you feel weighed down or weary, remember this verse and let it inspire you to renew your strength and take flight in the limitless possibilities that come from trusting in God. As we face challenges in our lives, it is essential to remember that our hope and faith in the Lord will renew our strength and revitalize our spirits. We can find our youthfulness in the energy and vitality that comes from placing our trust in Him. When we put our hope in the Lord, we are destined to rise above our circumstances, like an eagle soaring high above the storms of life. You, my dear friends, are never too old or too young to experience the incredible power of hope and youth that comes from a deep connection with our Creator. So let us hold on to our faith never losing sight of the fact that our true youthfulness comes from within, from the unwavering hope we have in the Lord. May you continue to walk in the light of the Lord, finding strength, courage, and the spirit of youth as you face each day, knowing that He is with you every step of the way. Be blessed and stay youthful in the Lord. Amen. God loves you. God bless you all. If you liked this video, don't forget hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.